How do we get the last value of a range in Google Sheets? Well, let's have a look. Over on my left hand side here, I have a bunch of numbers and some of the cells in the range of numbers here are even empty. We need to find a way to be able to get this last value and display it in this cell here. Now, if you want to play along and I encourage that you do, so you have your own copy of this formula, grab a copy of the starter sheet in the link in the description below and open it up, make a copy. And when you're ready, we'll get started. Okay, you're back. Cool. So you'll find in your starter sheet up the top hand side, we'll have a NA and that's just to display the formula text that you are about to generate in cell B3. Now this formula is a compound formula, so it's going to take a couple of functions to build it all together. So let's break it down first. The first thing we need to do is to be able to get a list of all the values that are present and make sure the cell is either blank or it's not blank. So the first thing we need to do is basically get a matching range or list of all the items in this range that have a value in it. And we can do this with the is blank function here. So if I just type in equals is blank and this reference this cell here, you can see that this one is blank is false. And if I just drag this all the way up here, you will see some false, 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 true, true, false, false, etc. Okay, so we've got the first part of the formula figured out. Now we don't want to do that for every single row. We want to do it in one single formula. And to do that, we can use the array formula approach. So let's just go up to B6 here and give this a crack. So we're going to say equals array formula, and then we'll say is blank. And then we're going to actually select the entire range. So we could select the entire range all the way down to the end of our column here, which for us is 40. Now I want to say if it is blank, then we want to identify it as true. So if is blank is uh, not equal to false, then we want to report it. So we'll just flip things around a bit for us. So we'll hit enter. So now we've got our list of is true or false here. And you'll notice it's also expanded out our list, but that's okay. Now, the last thing we need to do is use a lookup function here. And this particular lookup function is a relatively new one for Google Sheets, and it's called the X lookup function. And it allows you to look up corresponding data horizontally or vertically. And it's basically VLOOKUP or X lookup with superpowers. So let's give it a crack. All right, so let's go into our target cell here, this B3, and we want to reveal this two up here. So the first thing we need to do is go equals X lookup. And we need to find our search key. Now our search key is going to be true. So we want to find the first true. Now our lookup range is going to be our array formula that we generated before. So we'll say array formula. And we say is blank. And our value now, instead of a single value, is going to be this entire range. So we'll just say A2, 2, two and we'll keep it blank here. So it goes all the way to the bottom of the column. And we'll say if that does not equal true, then we're good to go. So let's close the array formula. So our search key is true. So we're looking for any item now with our array formula that is not blank basically. So is not blank is true. So that's going to be anything from two through two through to 10, 13 to 15 or 17. Now here's where X looker is super cool. Okay. Next we have our results range and our results range are going to be this one here. So I'm going to select a two to a, and that's the actual value range here that we want to display. And then we want Missing values. So how do we want to display missing values? Well, we don't really, do we? So we're just going to keep that blank. So you can put in double quotation marks or you can put in the next comma, which we'll do. Now our match mode here. So let's scroll down and see what match mode says. How to find a match for the search key. Zero for an exact match. Yes, we want true or false. So zero for our exact match. Then lastly, search mode. How to search through the lookup range. One is to search from the first entry all the way down to the bottom or start from the bottom and go all the way up to the top. We want the last value. So we're going to use the minus one to search from the bottom all the way up to the top. Let's close the brackets here and that closes our X lookup and let's hit enter. So now we have two, which is the last value down here. 
Now you might be thinking, hey, hang on a minute, Scott, this might be just for numbers, but what if we say Yagi down the bottom here? So now Yagi is down the bottom. If we want some more spaces, we could say uh, pizza, cake, 42. Uh, we could do a couple of spaces down the bottom here and say cheese. And finally, we could say like and subscribe. And that's it. That's all you need to do to get the last value in the range. If you've enjoyed this tutorial, please hit that like button. And if you want to see more tutorials like this, subscribe. Until next time.